All right, Jeff, thanks. And the massive wall of fire sending all that smoke into New Mexico is nowhere near being under control. Fire officials say it's now only 5% contained. Now that's down from the 6% containment firefighters had achieved as of this morning. Firefighters are working around the clock to protect key mountain towns in eastern Arizona under siege from the massive fire. More than 10,000 people have evacuated as the fire has now consumed more than 430,000 acres and destroyed at least 30 homes. The smoke was so dense and such of a different nature that day that that's what began to frighten us, that maybe it was something we couldn't handle. Now, another concern for firefighters, the blaze is now threatening two major power lines, which supply electricity to residents from West Texas through Arizona. And as the wildfire spread, so did rumors about it crossing into New Mexico. This morning, some national news coverage reported the wall of fire had crossed the state line. But state forest officials say that information is not true. Now, they want to make it very clear they intentionally set an area north of Luna on fire in order to burn up the fuels ahead of the wallow fire. Popped over, the line was actually constructed over into New Mexico. And again, I guess really the word, the, the emphasis we want to make is that the, the fire was at our terms, not, not at nature's terms. So, we, so it was a successful burnout. Now, over the last two days, the winds have calmed down enough for firefighters to do those burnouts in areas they think will be most successful in slowing the fire's progress. Firefighters say the only way to attack a fire this big is to do so indirectly by doing burnouts or making dozer lines. Another option is fuel reduction. Today, we found crews a few miles outside of Luna doing just that in the Gila National Forest. From cutting down trees to trimming back dead brush, the goal is to thin out the fuels that help wildfires spread so quickly. Uh, they are doing it here as a, or there as a precaution should the fire cross into New Mexico. Now, unfortunately, the winds have picked back up again, so fire officials are sitting tight. They hope the lines they've worked so hard to build will hold. There is a meeting tonight at 7 at the community center in Luna. Anyone seeking information is encouraged to go there at uh, tonight at 6 again. We'll have a live report from Amanda Goodman coming up at 10 o'clock.